Hey, you back at it again, YouTube. We're gonna smash this out. Another Twiddle Storm deck. Um, not really changed a whole bunch. I just made the one change that I originally thought of, uh, which was I just got rid of Niv entirely, actually. Just put in a third Ral. Let's see how this goes. Let's see if we can work this out. Smash up some people, you know. But that's it. Let's just hop right in. found out it looked like looks like Matt Nass is gonna be smashing some Twiddle Storm in uh, Vegas, so that'll be pretty sweet to see. Let's see what we can do. I actually have enough people on Twitter that want me to let them know I'm streaming. or a sleight of hand. This is weird, but we'll get rid of one of these. Dude, Dusev, what's up? My subscriber, dude. My sub and mod. What is up? I'm trying to... Oh yeah, I, I forget my own. Sorry, my dude. Alright, let's get this. At an auction, like physically at an auction, like smash the context. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. It's like, it could have been like at an auction. Just like got like drank a lot, got effed up. It's all about context. <laughs> Are you guys ready to like O and O three this league? One hundred thirty k over the guidance. That's pretty massive, dude. It might have been smarter there to not sleight of hand and twiddle this guy's land right here. Because now he can Urza and just win, right? Oh, he cards. Card. Is he card for like a sword? Or is he card for Tormod's crib? Why does he grab Lattice? People? Dum dums? I probably should play a little slow. I've had enough. Uh, 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 
first things first. Twiddle me this. Yes, I would. What's this? like a land and another mox they can just land us, us out of the game so I think we actually have to go for it here This is where Ral is insane. So right now all we need is a grape shot. It is. And that's how you do it, guys. You just ignore chant for two minutes. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I don't like putting those down there, do I? thing is, is like, I don't want to overboard on this matchup, because we have so many, so many things here, like, this is all good. I guess 
we don't need this. We're running this. Still following 4chan or just the Discord? Never been on 4chan before. Annoying to sort through the garbage there, but some good comments. Wait. <laughs> Wait what are you talking about? JMD. Fortunately, we need. I guess I still could have bottomed it. Let's see how this pans out. What's the hollow fountain for? Oh, cool. I guess it's for the stop doctor circle. Doctor. Lol. Or chance hilarious. Anything I invent in this deck there. Okay, I like this guy's got going on. Foundry? Oh, literally foundry, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Yeah, JMD, I've been 4 1 dropping for weeks. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna naturally draw our card we need here. We didn't. game's fun. I, I like this deck a lot. It's just fun to me. Like, I, I find it, like, really fun to play. Especially this version. Like, I really like, I really like Ral. I think Ral's just such an insane card. Like that, like our first game. Like, we dug and dug. And it's not like the different cards that we were running in comparison. Like, if it wasn't Ral, it would have been like the Vizier in other lists. And that one card drawn from Vizier wasn't going to get us any closer to winning the game. But playing the Ral, and then just pinged him enough, and we just drew a Grape Shot and killed him. We don't do anything here, right? Actually, no, we draw some cards. So 
So we're actually going to play this and just pass the turn again. I, I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you fizzle. And this this won't seem relevant entirely right now. Um, but time is huge. So like, I mean, and don't get me wrong. This is like really media core, like a media core thought, media core thought. But essentially, let's say you're playing like a 16 round tournament, and you know this game can take a while sometimes. So. What do I bounce here? It's going. Do I bounce? Is there anything I can bounce here? Or do I just let him make a ton of stuff and just... No, I'm pretty sure we just... We just let him go. He can only make 200 things. To them or do we bounce? They don't get Infi Life actually. They only can do 200 tokens online. Oh, he's smart. Yeah. I'll give it to him because he's smart. Because he only did so many. That's smart. Because he knows how the time thing works. Approved. This is a brave direction. Bad. Uh, no, because he only made a few. I think it's it's. I just get. I'll give it to him. Cause that's 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 really smart. Yes, functionally yes. In paper, that's an instant win. Essentially, infinite life's not always an infinite win or guaranteed. Follow my man, much appreciated. I don't have any cool slogans or anything to say. But I appreciate it nonetheless. Cheers. Listen, I'll crack a beer for... Oh, you know, I should do a thing where I do a shot for every subscriber I get. Maybe I shouldn't. Twitch Twitch chat can be really mean sometimes. <laughs> oh, gosh dang it! I'm gonna take the middle. Whatever, I guess. Apollo sixty-nine worked out in the end. So it's not a functional turn three win. That's a that's the thing you have to remember with this deck, especially against something like this, because he could just drop damping sphere, and then we're looking for echoing truths and such, rebuild. By the way, this beer is amazing for any of you that can drink. It's strawberry shortcake. Yes, it is heavenly. 
So the other reason it's not a it's not a guaranteed win here is because we don't have puppetry. You need puppetry to have a guaranteed win here. So what we can do Asian, you know my dude. Yeah, I'm from Michigan, that's where it's at. So our opponent's gonna have five mana next turn, essentially. Six mana with Opal. I, I think our really only option is to uh, peer through the depths. Yeah, we peer through the depths here. Well, I guess we can do that at instant speed, eh? Now we still peer, because then we can drop Lotus. But then I guess he can whir. This is tough. I'm from the upper Michigan. All right, guys, so we could twiddle right now, peer through the depths, get a puppetry and try to go off. We don't have puppetry, Shin. I'm not against going for it, though. Oh, yeah. I think we just chill. Now, now we chill. Now, now we just have to draw uh, like an ideas unbound. Maybe I should have twiddled his land. No, he still have it. So now he's got two mana, three mana. That's a card. <laughs> okay, 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 JMD. I see you. That grape shot's actually really helpful.
sweet style on them. Can't get over seeing this. <laughs> I admit that was a, a smidge bit of overkill. I didn't screenshot it at all. Oh, someone go back and clip it. If someone knows how to clip it, go back and clip it, please. Okay, wait, hold on. I just got a twiddle. I just got a uh, a comment on my YouTube. The person goes, "This is legitimately the worst twiddle list that I've ever seen." Oh, really? We didn't get enough time? That kind of sucks. I gotta get better at that. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably make a thing for it. We're just looking for puppetry. And to not get challenged here. So this is one of those scenarios. So what do you guys think? Do you think we twiddle his land here? Or do we risk getting chaliced on one? What do you think? This is where I feel like power of the deck can go back and forth. What do you think? I gotta turn off that MTG bot. What do you guys think? Do we twiddle his land? Well, yeah, but here's the thing. If we twiddle him here, we, we have the potential to go off the next turn. My gut says that we're supposed to twiddle him. But uh, let's see let's just let's just play it out. That's worse. I guess we can kill that I guess.
Would have been okay with drawing differently in there. Oh, yeah. Hey, Judge, thanks for the follow. Do we kill it now? And hope they don't have another one? So if we twiddle our land, we tap for red, we can grape shot it. I think we have to. We have to use our resources now. Slams the blood moon here. I'm just done. All right, so not basic lands. Wow, that's insane. Actually. That's probably the game. Here at the Twiddle, actually. I think we take the pier because we just we just need to draw like another. Well, that's one, two. I think we take the pier. We just need to keep looking for uh, more ideas on bone. Also, a basic would be nice at some. Point. Lots of extra mana now. over here it's 11. Oh wow. I just realized you guys can't see it. Interesting. You know why?
No, no fry. It does sound fun, though. I don't think Echoing Truth is very good here. I don't think they're like a hyper aggressive uh, creature deck. Actually, we need Echoing Truths 100%. Seven, but I think it's okay if we cut one. Let's just try this. Not really sure what to do. We need the Echoing Truths because it really looked like they had a Blood, Blood Moon deck. So that they could run Blood Moon. Yeah, I always forget about puppetry being like just a general. Sorry, I'm sorry, Warhammer. I honestly didn't see you. Could, yeah, so. Um, oh, fuck. I was not even paying attention to that. Like, that, that, that line was not in my head. Alright, so that means probably have to get rid of the RAL here. Yeah, so like if we if we have Ral out and we cast Grave Shot for like eight, <sighs> okay. Well, sometimes you get lucky. <laughs> you can't really do anything about. That. Definitely not a blood. Turn three. You can't jam Cabo's turn. Turn two. This deck. I see with the trigger on the stack. That's fair.
Okay. It turned off auto yields. That's hilarious. I turned off auto yields too. And he's getting a smasher now. Yo, make sure you keep the name this guy's name, cause he is he's gonna definitely 5-0 at this right? Cause holy moly. That's what you call uh luck sack. Wow, man. I mean, that's... That's just good. There's not much you can do about that. Sometimes some people just have those nuts. You just accept those and move on. We have what we have Echoing Truth in the main. Another Echoing Truth on the board. Yeah, Shattering Spree should be on the board. Deuce if he didn't have a decent deck. That guy's probably not gonna. I'm just kidding. That guy's gonna win everything. Because if he's that lucky. Holy moly. Yeah. Yeah, I should probably put in Shattering. You're not wrong. We'll probably do that. I was going first, I already forgot. Ah. Opponents mulliganing to 5, so they're probably Tron. Oh, now they're to 4. So it's either Tron or Neo Brand. Yeah, I, I, something like that's probably right. It's Tron. So I want this to be known. Our opponent's down to... kept four cards. And they'll more than likely have Tron on. I really want that puppetry, but we also just need to hit our land. Our opponent legitimately is just going to have Tron on three. Now watch him have Natural Tron too. It'll be even better.
So I do this because it... Yeah. It doesn't, like, switch the lands right away, and it's, like, really trippy. See if we can find our echoing truth. What is this? I'm gonna take the grape shot because one, we can't cast anything else. Two, it's kind of like a just in caser. So we literally need to hit Echoing Truth and a Twiddle here. Well, okay. We can't. I don't think we have lethal, do we? So we go. We take two here. Untap this. Chalice is on one, guys. We don't have lethal. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> but I think we. St I think we still fire it off. Thanks, William. We're smashing, dude. We're trying. Dude, William. This guy mold to four. Tron. Mold to four. Had Tron and Chalice. We had to discard three cards anyways at the end of turn. Fuck. Fuck off. That's so god fucking stupid. Oh my god.
This is how we beat Tron every other night. We 61 it with two spell pierce. To be fair, at least the games we've lost tonight... <laughs> no, uh, we actually don't want to put a braid in here. A braid, a braid doesn't do anything for us. The only thing it would potentially do... I guess they do have Chalice. It's slightly annoying. Echoing Truth's not very good. Merchant Scroll's not very good here. Standing in the moment, waiting for the end. There's gonna be a lesson coming around the bend. Every day I want. Alright, anyways, like I was saying, at least when we lost to people, it was the guy who netted it on us with Leon and Arbiter and Triple Ghost Quarter. I don't think. I honestly don't even like Aria that much right now as it is. This hand's gas. Um, I think Aria's too slow. I mean, it's probably. It's technically like a turn faster, but it's not. It's actually not faster than. Uh, Arya is not faster than Rao. He has a Grape Shot. If I play Rao as like a 7th spell and then Grape Shot, I'm gonna do 17 damage. 16 damage. You know what I'm saying? Does a Drazitron run Simeons? But you still have to cast it. I, th I, 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 I'm strongly on the case that Ral's faster. JMD, was that a no to me? They do not run Simeons. It's really whether or not I was leading with the spell pierce or not. All right, so here's the play. They're gonna play a chalice. We're gonna counter it. Excuse me. And then we're gonna draw puppetry. In case you guys are wondering, that's that's what's going down here. Hell's going on? Are we against just <sighs> it hurts? It legitimately hurts. Nah, I'm not a fan of those either. <sighs> See. Chances of them having counter magic on one to ten. This sucks a little bit, but we gotta do it twice.
No, I meant to use both reds. I ate everything. Let's let's uh, do some screen. Actually, want that? That's good. That's not what we're against. We played an island. Pretty sure we're 100% against Bluetron. So, the reason. I guess it wouldn't have mattered me. Yeah, no. Okay, so we could have won last turn, but I punted. I want this to be known. And this is why Rao's so good. For example, if I didn't punt and kept the blue mana up, he was tapped out. We would have untapped a Dream Grip, minus two Rao, Ideas Unbounded, drew six cards, still had a mana up. Pretty high chance we're gonna draw an untap spell. Like a twiddle or a dream script. Untap and then just do degenerate things. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this situation. Do we just force him to play counter magic? That's my idea too. What if he is... I guess no matter what we're still going to get it, eh? Let's this resolve. If he lets this untap resolve, we just basically win.
now? Do I get another beer? Or do I not get another beer? This is a pretty stressful league. We've, we've played, against, played against some really stressful games. <laughs> Where's all my... Just let me play against Hogak all night, please. <laughs> Just tap out, opponent. You know you want to. Ain't got shoot. Yeah, I'll take regular Tron too. Yes. Uh, Jun's okay. In our version, our version's really good against Jun. We'll switch from beer to monster for right now. Promote me. Monster, hit me up. Oh wait, yeah, you guys actually want to see something really dope? Alright, I'll do it. I'll do it in between games here. I would minus this normally. I guess if this resolves, it resolves. No, I guess I should have minused it no matter what. Sitting on magic, like what is he sitting on? You don't think I'm casting 10 spells this turn. You're hilarious.
We don't need a braid. We, we legitimately just win here. This guy's just milking the clock, which is, which is good. There is, there's, there hasn't been a misclick yet. What you talk about, Willis? What are we gonna upgrade? Oh, yeah, it, it wouldn't have mattered, no. He, he was saying if I took the abrade. And yes, or no, it wouldn't have mattered. About 40 spells we could have did things with. I'm going to show you guys these really cool sleeves. Have you guys heard of Prismatic Defenders? I'll try to find a good one to show you. So here's, okay. so here's a twiddle. All right. I don't have the highest def cameras. Okay. That was a non-foil twiddle. Check it out now on this. Oh, I don't think you can do it. I don't think it's gonna show it in this. Damn. Anyways, these are called Prismatic Defenders. And they're like... Like, I'd say honestly better quality than Dragon Shields. Uh, but they, uh... <laughs> thank you, thank you, Tuzef. But they, what they do is they... It's so hard to show it. But they make the card look foil. So, like, it takes a non-foil deck. When you put it in the sleeve, makes the whole card look foiled. They're super dope. And they're super cheap. I mean, they're good quality. Like, really good quality. Like, I mean, I would... Yeah, but, I mean, like, they're so sweet. But yeah, Prismatic Defender. I thought about hitting them up for a sponsorship, I won't lie. I would sponsor the crap. Although, I can't, like, really my sleeves on Mitko here. No spell pierce. But we have a braid. But yeah, these these things are sweet, man. No joke. They're super cool. Did you guys see the greatest islands in the world? I'll show you. Oh, I guess we have 12 minutes. I guess we should play this. 
rather decent. Get my one mana spells in before they all don't work anymore. islands. There we go. That's where it's at, in case you guys are wondering. I just realized I have a lonely sandbar. Yes. I will be playing MCQ on the 25th. Whiteboard Islands are my favorite. If I could whiteboard on my whole deck, I would. I already got the twiddles. Uh, unfortunately, we just fire this off and pray. Remand. Got whiteboard or sleight of hands. I won't lie, the last MCQ I played, waste not. <laughs> I did okay. 5 3. Twasn't too bad. For those of you here for Twiddle, as you could tell right here, I actually typically just play waste not brews. It's kind of the greatest card ever printed. I also just picked up four foil burning inquiries. These things are beautiful. I only have three right here. I have the other one in my deck already. Look at this. These things are super dope. Come on, man. Play shit. Hope you guys can see my bed. I was going through decks and decks, figuring out what I want to do. Hopefully we can rip an island off the top here. Doing it like this. force out all of his counter magic. Plus if he lets this go, then we can abrade what spell Not that he wouldn't have the mana to pay it, but we can at least force his hand. Plus we have one blue still floating if he does do anything. I was playing Waste Not. What was I on? The apocalypse. Oh, 
I was on Waste Knot with uh, four Arclight Phoenix and a Gristle Brand Reanimator package. Four Gristles uh, for uh, Gorios. Deck was dope. You just pop off and kill someone in one turn easily. I was playing. This was fun. Opponent tap mana. I see it. Thanks for tuning in. If you feel like it, you like a little bit of what you see, I'll probably be playing this for a little while, especially for like the next two weeks at least. Pretty sure all kinds of different versions, which I like. Uh, drop a follow. It's free, easy to do, much appreciated. If you're really feeling it, you can drop a sub, but don't worry about it. Uh, follows are super appreciative. Also, you get to hear "Oh yeah" in a really deep voice. And that just makes everyone happy, or just scares the shit out of them. It's really up to you. Wait, can you chat us on one twice? cards left. So if we Dreams Unbound, our Ideas Unbound, Puppetry, we could draw a land and another a braid and kill both these off. I think we wait one more. But we definitely try to kill one now. I guess. I wonder. Uh, he's tapped out there. That's why. Staff? What the heck? <laughs> I've never seen that. Are you actually working for Twitch? Is that what that means? Hasumi? Just a guy. <laughs> I didn't put in rebuild. He's tapped out, unless he's hit holding force, whatever.
think I'm terrified of you, buddy. Okay, we really just need to hit a... Another puppetry and a Ral. <laughs> I was thinking about, honestly, about the title. <laughs> Alright, so we just got 10 cards. Let's... Let's unbound now. We only did one dreams. Oh. To be fair, I don't. Whatever. I guess I misplayed there. I meant to uptick Ral, but. Listen, William. I had seven. Eight beers. Why you no plus? You tell me. Why you no plus? <laughs> you ever think of that? Hatsumi, it's still a good stream. Please don't ban me. Also, super dope that you're a staff. I'm not really sure how that works, but you're a staff and you're into magic. I'm all about that life. You're a homie. Are we about to get countered up? What does that even mean? You'd look great in purple. Twitch is building the future of live entertainment. We'd love to do it better with you. Oh, that's baller. Are you like an intern? Because I accidentally clicked the little wrench and it threw me off. The Baraga Vikings are looking good this year. What? What is... <laughs> what? Why? Click the link. <laughs> Click the link. That's what it says. <laughs> There's an ant on my monitor. That's terrifying. Oh no, don't tap me out. Don't do me like this. Wh who are you? <laughs> who hurt you? Alright, real talk though. I'm just gonna play it again, dude. Except for this time. I'm gonna plus it. I want that. Honestly, the guy messed up a little bit. Doing that Rouse cute. But he should have actually probably... I mean, it depends on what he has here, obviously. But in my opinion, I feel like he should have bounced his Chalice to put it on too. Yeah, I don't really feel like this is worth it. So unless he has counter magic here, that's what he's banking on. What? <laughs> Low key, immune to the Sundering type. Shit, do we take the island? Then we're not immune. Yo, Hatsumi, you showed up and I think you scared everyone. We were at like 20 people and they all peaced out. Whoa, whoa. 
Listen, we're already twiddling people. We don't need to be stroking of geniusing up in here either. I'm actually just waiting for like a giant ass uh, tight or uh, ballista two. Is this three? So two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You can do a ballista for six. It's only slightly terrifying. I don't remember what Promise End does. Man, I really needed both of those. Cancel. Yeah, you think so? I'd be down to see them. It's a big monster that mine sleeps. Sounds dope. So I'm now just realizing that Ryle's minus two is actually really good against counter magic, isn't it? Where did my music go? Oh, it's back! Fun scenario for our opponent. <laughs> This has been a really long game. <laughs> like, really long. This, this YouTube video is going to be really long. I might have to actually edit it. We'll see how lazy I get. Alright, what do you got, buddy? Alright, I see you. Still, still gonna do the thing. Five, untap, so we have three, so we have four mana, so five, six, seven, yes, this should do it. All good. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Uh, what would have obstructionists done? What would have it done? What would they have been able to knock out? Why does my music keep going away? What is this? So many roads to go before the dawn. Does it? Does it stop the trigger on Storm? I don't think it works like that. Also, wouldn't have mattered because we had uh, uh, Ral triggers. Yeah, Ral, Ral still would have went off. I mean, you're, I assume you're, I think you're right in the correct line of play, but I think Ral, Ral still would have got there because Ral was still doing nine, nine or ten. Either way, good shit. Maybe I'll save off on the beer till I at least get like another win. Cause then we can at least be three, three, two. If we win this next one, I'll get another beer. Our opponent's name is TNT on fire. Turn up. Uh, this hand's okay. I wouldn't say it's the best. Someone suggest a song. I'm I'm dying over here. Just try to make it so it's like legal in other countries. Cause my my last video was was uh was denied in like a bunch of other countries. I don't know what video it was, I didn't look. I didn't mean to take that, but I <laughs> Oh no. Not like this. Please don't blow up my land. Good, good talk. This deck's so much fun. Yeah. At this point, we're just looking for a Ral or a Grape Shot. Okay. 
You are a very dead opponent. Wait, is Catbug here? Oh, hey. Did you change your color? Yeah, sorry I wasn't talking there, guys. I was, uh... I was just... I, I try to ra uh, like rattle through as much as I can. As fast as I can. So we'll slam this... Actually, I think these spell pierce are quite good. Empty is probably decent. Corral. Cut one of those. I know Merchants is good, and a lot of people tell me that it's a bad to take it out. I'm just a huge fan of it. I'm also, in this deck particularly, I'm a huge fan of 61 cards. We just do so much. <laughs> what? What is this? I believe you. We're probably about to get the moon. I don't know why I took that, I'll be pretty honest. Alright, are we gonna get Chandra? Oh, that's uh, not good. Let's go get Lattice now, can he? Liquid metal coating, huh? I think we just go to the next game. about that. Probably should have put in bolts. Kill the bird. Yeah, I don't know why, I don't know why my stream has such a lag. You guys are behind by a full, like, 20 seconds, but I have no stream delay. I don't know if it's my internet, but it should be my internet. I have a very good internet. Yeah, my board's been, uh, I've been testing it. It's done really well. We've been smashed pretty hard this league, though. Like, we've been smashed real bad. Trinosphere? I 
force this here. This at least only lets them do five mana. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeet. Play the appropriate route. And twiddle this guy down. We go ideas unbound. Hit the lotus. Doesn't do anything for us. Also have like a car? What's going on? What is this? Oh. I should just got a beer anyways. <laughs> I you did nothing. We we wouldn't have, it wouldn't have mattered. Like say we got IU and then hit the lotus, we still wouldn't have had any mana. Yeah, dude, I'm not upset about losing to that. You're just playing against some people that have had some super nuts. This is a super weird keep, but we keep. No, because don't forget Hatsumi. Ideas Unbound makes us discard three cards. I'm also a big fan of that. It was just a legit Entwined tooth and nail. I just smashed face. I can't even be mad at that. Put some real thought into it. Hey, good night, Hatsumi. Thanks for stopping by, man. I will twiddle a okay. Uh, thanks again for hanging out, guys. Chat, everyone here. If uh, you like the stream or you want to see more of something, uh, please drop a follow. Opponent said, Sorry, I'm playing this deck. First time, tricky decisions. I hope it's the mirror. Yeah, for sure. Uh, well, it is. I'll hit you up in canisters. Let's see. 
go get it. Up a tree. Yep, here. Alright, alright. This is, in fact, the mirror. We're very dead. I auto-yielded. We'll let him figure it out. What's up, chat? What are you guys up to? Anyone got any tournaments going on tomorrow? I have six. Let them do their thing. They can learn. It's really the only way. Uh, Catbug, are you streaming? We call it after this this one league. This kind of was a really long league. Excuse me. Are you making up a sideboard and everything? Nice, Owen. I'll be, uh, I'll be jamming. I'll be jamming. Yeah, dude. Do it up. I will, I will not be doing that. But I'll put out some YouTube videos. Ninety-nine percent sure this guy's got it, but once he casts, once he casts like a uh, pass in flames, we'll get him. Give it to him. What she should be doing right now, right? Red mana. Oh no. Let's get some different music just for a little bit. jamming just chilling let this guy learn Yeah, I'll make him play it out. That's fine. Plus, like I said, he needs to learn. He, he said he's new, so I'll let him learn it up.
So this is what it feels like to be on the other side. MCQ, I'm going to put in, uh, I'll, I'll probably, what I'll end up changing, like for this board, I'll probably end up taking out the abrades, and I'll probably end up putting those as, uh, weather the storm, or at least one braid for weather the storm. So I put a weather the storm, then, uh, well, honestly, it'll just be hilarious. You are fully capable of providing your own destiny. The question you face That's really all there is to it. Which path will you choose? Seriously, fizzle? How do you fizzle? This poor guy. I mean, it's not like we're doing anything. And let's see if it pays off. He's gonna twiddle more lights. <laughs> I'm sorry. Twiddle my lands, dude. Keep, keep her twiddle. You could have drew a rest. You could have drew a passing flames here, dude. I don't. I don't think he drew a grape shot. It's right here. Wait. Couldn't he? Have, oh no, he he was tapped out on other mana. It's a big yikes for me. Let me draw a lotus. We still could lose here. We're, we're not drawing Lotus either. I probably should have bought them both of those, but oh well. for the follow my dude
we are just twiddle, twiddle, twiddling it up. Okay. <laughs> I don't scoop for him, but he immediately scoops for me. <laughs> We're gonna go with ye old spell pierce. That was really unfortunate for that guy. He just forgot to float red mana. It's a big yikes. I'm gonna sleeve up these cards while we're chilling. Cause that's what cool people do. Sleeping up everything except for some lands. Seriously, so freaking cool. Oh, he's missed. He missed a land drop. Okay, doesn't matter. What are the chances of him having Spell Pierce? Yeah, dude, check these out. I don't know if you were here. So, like... So, obviously, here's, like, a normal card. And I can't really do it real. Maybe if I get it really close. Alright. So, that's... The, that's normal. Actually, this is... That's a terrible way to show it. We have time, so here's Pure Through the Depths. You know, pretty normal. But check out these sleeves, and like I said, I don't know if it'll do it on there. They actually make the card... Oh, it's so hard to tell on here. They actually make the card look foiled. It's super dope. I'm a fan. Uh, it is, I unfortunately still didn't put it in chat for some reason. If you give me two minutes here. Let's let him think on that while I go grab it. It is possible. Uh, add com deck list. Do you have some spell peers? No. So we're going to do this uh, in case he does have spell pierce. Still need one more twiddle. Actually, this might get it. Let's 
So this is seven. Lose this with three. So this right here, uh, cat, if you're, this right here is why I like Ral. So like right now if I cast this for be 9, this will be 18 exactly. Does Ral's plus 2 make it better than Arya? Seems like 4 mana is pretty awkward. Yeah, every grape shot. He triggers on every copy. That is why he is insane. And I didn't even use his ability that turn. See? So, like, I still could have minus two at any time there, like, on the peer through the depths. Or I could have minus two on Merchant Scroll even. I could have minus two on Merchant Scroll and grab when it could go and grab two more instants. Like, like I think the card's really good. Yeah, two's plenty. Two's plenty. Uh, I like three personally. That's that's a me thing. Uh, I think you want to play with it because I'm running two. Well, here I'll just show you the list. It's on there obviously, but like. This, this is not the list. Ignore that. That's the OG list. Oh yeah, so we're gonna ignore this list too. Alright. So I mean, I'm still running two Pass and Flame, two Grape Shot, and three Ral. And that's, and it's never overkill. It never feels like overkill. Ral, Ral won us every game we won. Just about Ral won it. Sorry, I did say anything back there. This he just creates for like for those of you who are here. So like for what you, for what just happened. For those who don't know, Ral deals a damage to target opponent or planeswalker, which is very relevant. Um. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery, I uh, know if you if you type exclamation point deck list, you'll see it. Catbugs, Catbugs list is on his Twitter, which you're more than welcome to post Catbugs so people can see it. So, like, when you have him out and you just minus, it just makes such a ridiculous thing. So if you have a minus two on Ral. And then I cast on Diaz I Bound Splicing Puppetry. I'm going to draw six cards, and then I'm going to have six mana floating at the end. And they're going to take two damage from Ral. And that little damage is what makes the deck so, uh, makes him so good, is because, like, say they're at 20, we're on turn three, we're doing our typical twiddle, you know, we twiddle, twiddle, play Ral, and then, um, untap, do our normal normal thing which is which is pretty normal that's typically how it happens um and then we minus two them right there you know like it just creates like say we don't have anything but we have a peer through the depths and we minus him we're, we can go find peer through the depths and go grab our puppetry 
and an idea is unbound to set up for the next turn if we have to. So he kind of makes dead draws a lot better. His scry, his scry one's not irrelevant. I mean, just slamming him on turn three, you know, setting up for a turn four kill is huge. Obviously, you could do that with like Arya too, but he he creates a consistency where you can actually search up your extra pieces by copying things like I've said, like Pierce of the Depths, you know. Even copying like a Seer and Visions is huge. You know, that's you're still gonna dig four or five cards deep. So I think that's really, really relevant. Um, not really sure what to do with the sideboard. Uh, the two matches that we lost were to uh, the nuts from a Al white Eldrazi player. He played the owner and Arbiter on one, and then Ghost Quarter us uh, turn two and turn three. Then slammed another uh, smack. Then slammed a smasher. The next the, the turn three. <laughs> really, you just accept those at that point. Are you gonna stream cat bug? Cause I'll host you. I'm cool with that. It's 1 a.m. for me. I still have to go with my daughter in the morning, and I have a wedding tomorrow. Cat bug's gonna. I believe Catbug's gonna play now, right guys? Right, Catbug? Nice. Alright. Uh, I was still recording, for, but for those on YouTube, come check us out in the Discord. It'll be in the link below. You know, we're all streaming, we're checking it all out, we're getting it going. And um, come help us if you have some suggestions, fire it away. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you.